Connecticut, following in the footsteps of New York and Colorado, about to become uh, the third state to pass a major overhaul of uh, gun laws. The Connecticut Senate has just approved a wide-ranging bill. It goes to the House where it is expected to pass tonight. The measures include a ban of the sale of so-called large-capacity ammunition magazines and 100 weapons that uh, previously uh, had been legal will be no longer legal. My next guest says the legislation is so burdensome it is threatening fundamental liberties. Joining us tonight, Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, good to have you here. Good to be with you, Lou. Connecticut, uh, this, this looks like a sweeping anti-gun a set of uh, anti-gun measures. Uh, how, how big a problem is it? Well, I think it's a serious interference with the uh, individual right to keep and bear arms. And Connecticut's a unique situation. You have people legitimately grieving over the, the tragedy right before Christmas in Newtown. You also have a very, very liberal, very progressive government that wants to feel like it is doing something to alleviate that grieving. Unfortunately, what it is doing would not have stopped Adam Lanza, even if these laws had been in place at the time, and will only affect law-abiding people and their ability to hunt and shoot to protect themselves when the police can't or won't. It will not stop a single criminal from, or a single crazy person from doing the type of thing that has plagued our society. And there are no, uh, there are no uh, measures in this uh, to deal with the issue of mental illness and uh, and. And, and following that up on background checks, is that correct? That's correct. This is a, a wish list for those who hate the Second Amendment, a dream for those who hate the Second Amendment. Legislators, many of whom know nothing about guns and have never fired them, went through a long laundry list of guns and checked off the ones that they thought looked dangerous. Yeah. And many of the things that to them look dangerous are plastic additions to the gun to help you aim it. They have nothing to do with the strength of the gun or, or, or the amount of ammunition or the speed of the ammunition. These measures seem to me uh, to have everything to do with politics and the exploitation of tragedy. For, ex uh, for example, the Connecticut bill would create the nation's first statewide uh, registry for people convicted of crimes. Uh, the registry would not be public, but it would be available to law enforcement. Uh, registry of magazines. I mean, as this goes well, through, let me, let me, people don't even realize Canada got rid of their registry. It was for rifles only. It cost them three billion, almost three billion dollars over the course of less than 15 years. If you lived in Connecticut and wanted to give one of your children a lawfully owned weapon as a gift, you'd have to get a background check from your own child. That's how absurd and unenforceable this is unenforceable when judge napolitano says unenforceable you mean that that means there's big there's big trouble with this legislation right that means it's basically for show it won't bring about safety it'll just interfere with law-abiding people like you who wanted to give a gift to someone but couldn't do it because you couldn't get a background check on your own kid very quickly the united nations the arms trade treaty uh being passed in the general assembly uh the senate has already voted uh, it is a symbolic vote uh, to say they will not support it. Your thoughts? It will never be uh, ratified by the Senate because it takes a two-thirds vote. Even if it were, the Supreme Court has ruled many times any treaty the government enters into that interferes with constitutionally protected rights is null and void. This thing tramples the Second Amendment far worse than anything the state of Connecticut did today. Instructively, this administration, this president, voted for the treaty. He'll sign it because he hates guns, just like the legislators in Connecticut do. But it, it, won't, it won't get to first base. Judge Napolitano, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Pleasure, Lou. Good to see you.